And like in that lighting at that angle my chin could never hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by so in today's video I am going to be reviewing slash first impressions and a makeup look of the new lunar beauty eternal eclipse palette I only got the palette I know there's a bundle there's like a lip gloss and a lipstick that goes with it but I did just only get the palette so if you're excited to see what look I create and how I feel about this palette then go Go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom and we'll get right into it all right guys so let's open her up i haven't swatched her i have opened her and then repackaged her to make it look like i didn't open her <laughs> but i did open it um i just have not swatched it so you get the traditional postcard look at manny oh he looks so good all the time. Like in that lighting, at that angle, my chin could never. Um, so he did really great. Um, and it does come with the palette, which is $48, a brush set, which is $35, and a lip gloss at $17, and a liquid lip at $8. I love that he put the price on the back of this card. Can we just take a minute and just stop and say thank you, Manny? Thank you, Lunar Beauty, for that. So... This is it. Y'all know the tea. Y'all know how it is. It comes wrapped up, pretty packaged. But what's inside? So I got my camera. <laughs> PSA, public service announcement. I got my camera to stop acting a fool. Um, I had to turn off the viewfinder, like the display, the touch changing settings. Um, I guess there's something wrong with it and it just was like going crazy. I don't have a ghost. Thank God, but um, it's not going crazy right now. So fingers crossed, it's still zoomed on my face. It's still here, here. Um, I did get my lighting set up differently again. I promise one day you're gonna come on here twice in a row and the lighting is gonna be identical because once I figure it out, I'm gonna duct tape the floor. So I know like these go here, this goes here. So for right now, just bear with me. I'm kind of testing it with a little bit of space that I have, you know, lighting up, lighting down. Is it too dark? Is it too light? So you guys let me know down below. What do you like? Do you like videos super bright? Do you like them super dim? I just don't know really what I'm trying to do here when it comes to lighting. I'm just not, that's not my thing. My thing is makeup. I do the best with everything else. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Color Palette. Ooh, color Palette. Um, it just says Lunar Beauty Manny MUA Heart. Hmm, he usually has like a little, little message there. Just saying, any. I needed my words of encouragement. It's fine. Um, so I think that this package is really, really pretty. Um, just from not even opening the box yet, the carton itself, the colors, and the way that it's just so pretty. Like the, it looks like it's like little stars. And uh, he, they always do such a bomb job. Like he, you can always tell that Manny has put so much thought and so much effort into his palettes, at least the packaging for sure. The palettes are really good. I haven't had any issues with them. Um, I've gotten all of them except for, it was a Halloween one. I did not get that one. I it had sold out and then it came back and I just had forgotten it by then. Um, but I have not been let down by his palettes before. However, his packaging, uh, is always top of the line like look at this right now look at this so this is bumped out this is like um embossed embossed engraved i don't know this is bumpy like there's just so much detail it's the detail of this palette like ugh. When I get a bigger room to do my videos, I'm going to be displaying palettes that I find like this are like a work of art. So Manny, several of your palettes will be on display. So clear, but I absolutely love it. Like it's just so, and it's like a little holographic iridescent moment. I say both because I don't like to be corrected by YouTube crazies. Um, so it's both. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. 
So you have some cool and some warm, mainly cool tone in this palette. So I just want to start that off. Um, this is definitely like the first time I've ever bought a straight up mainly cool tone palette because I do stray more towards the warm side. Um, but <sighs> this, oh my God. So you got a row of shimmers. A row of all mattes and like nudes you have some warm tones some cool tones a little bit of dark to light I like that and then here comes the blues and the grays so I do wish I do wish he may have put one or two more shades of blue in here like not obviously electric blue but just maybe like a a little bit brighter or like a reflective blue um but these so these two look like they're the blue ones and then this one maybe um like reflective blue but matte with the glitter so it's nice but the problem with with these these mattes that glitter you don't really see the glitter all that much so we'll see but you just don't um and it's not him it's not his brand it's just in general but i absolutely love this you do have two more mattes up here very cool tone gray which you ain't gonna see me go near it's just not my tea. <laughs> it is a very pretty color so for those of you who love cool tones this is going to be your palette because I'm telling you 90% of the time companies are just putting out warm tone, warm tone, warm tone. This is a very cool tone, but you still have like one or two warm tones here. It's just so beautiful. Like this is so, just let me just take it. Take, oh my God, this, I'm using this color. I'm going to swatch one row at a time. I'm going to go with the top row first. Okay. First of all, ooh, like just... Oh my God, hi my face. I am obsessed with these already. So we have Flare, which is just your light. It's your, it's your normal like inner corner. You need that one really light shimmer for your brow bone, you're in a corner, that kind of thing. So that's what that one is. This one I was super impressed with is Adamantum. Adam, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but this is stunning. I absolutely love this silver. It is way more silver than it is picking up. And the way that it swatched was like butter. And then we have Meteor. This is like a shift. It's a shifty shadow. It's a shifty shadow. <laughs> like a duochrome. <laughs> it shifts one way, shifts the other. Like a blue purple vibe. And then this one has a little shift of like reddish underneath with gold. And then this one is just like a bronzy um, brown. But um, my bad. This is Meteor, <laughs> Gold Dust, and this is Desert Sky. I love these. Okay, so this ended up being an easier way to swatch this and show you because I just was having a hard time twisting my freaking fat arm. Um, so this is Dusk. It is just your traditional transition shade. It's a very light tan. And then we have Rose Thorn. Then we have Sandstorm. Then we have Summer Sky. And then we have Earthbender, which is just that dark reddish brown. So this is the last row that I swatched and I'm actually most excited, I feel like, for this one. So this first color is Starry Eyed. It literally swatched like liquid metal. And then you have Smoke, which is this matte gray. It's really nice, actually. I thought it was gonna be patchy, but it really wasn't at all. And then this one, Deep Sea, which is that shimmer foil. Lagoon was a little patchy. Um, if you can see here, it's just a little patchy. It's a very like tealish blue. And then the Night Sky, Guy, actually you can really see that glitter reflective do you see that right here usually when you have a reflective black basically a matte black with a look at my hand like it's just shining um with glitter particles in it it usually doesn't show up the glitter all that much but this one really really did um it was pretty glittery on my hand so i'm kind of excited for that i may have to do like a second or third look with this all right so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and then we'll get started on the look okay i've already prepped my eyes and i will have you guys know if my eyes look different my brows i did a little something different today i went a little more natural 
I literally just have some brow gel and I use the dip brow just to fill in a little bit, but mainly I used this. I saw on, I think it was Loralee. I don't know, I don't wanna promise you that, but it was on somebody's channel and they used it for their brows. And I was like, that looks so good. And then I did my brows and I'm like, oh my gosh. So these are like not super drawn on like I always have them. They're just filled in a little bit with some brow gel and the got to be gel, which keeps them like up and looking full. I think I'm gonna go in with Summer Sky, which is just that light to be brown color. And I'm gonna put it in my crease, place a little color. And I'm just gonna pack it in there on the outer corner real quick. And I'm bringing it just into my crease slightly. I think I'm gonna do like a smoky, it's a little blue shimmer. It's a lot darker than I expected. I will say that. Um, thought it was gonna be a little bit less brown. Um, it is, it's quite brown. I'm gonna go in with Dusk, which is that super pale, um, like a tan. It's like lighter than khaki. And I'm just going to blend that out. Oh, that is so nice. I love this. <laughs> so I love the way it's blending out and the way that the colors look together. It looks so good. And this is not as light. Dusk is not as light as well as I expected it to be. So I'm glad I went with Dusk because I was going to go with Sandstorm, but I knew it was going to be too dark. I knew it. And I just brought it out here just a little bit. All right, so I'm going back in with Summer Sky and I'm just going to put a little more in the crease to bring back that depth. So good, oh my gosh. So now that I've gone in, I went in with the, I don't know like how I got all messed up, but I went in originally with the Earth Bender as my crease, and then I went to Dusk and blended that out. Somehow I thought I went into Sandstorm and I put a little Sandstorm over here. So I had to pop a little Sandstorm up here, but that was not the original color. So just so you know, Earthbender, Dusk, and a little bit of Sandstorm, just a, just a smidge, just a smidge. Um, I do love how the browns are really laying together. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Veil Eye Primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my lids. My girls have destroyed my brushes. Can we just talk about that? Like every time I come into my makeup area, I just know that I'm coming into a room full of dirty makeup, dirty brushes. Like, they just destroy it. I don't know how they do it. Don't ask me, I don't know. All right. I think I'm gonna start, um, a friend of mine actually gave me an idea. I think I'm gonna start doing like um, makeup looks to like different things, like uh, movies coming out, games, like Pokemon Go, or like WoW, World of Warcraft since I play that. Like just different themed makeup looks, not like sign, um, special effects makeup, like legitimate makeup, but like color theme to it. I don't know, I thought that was such a really exciting idea. All right, so I'm going in with that deep sea blue, the shimmery blue, and let's see what we get. Let's see what happens. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty color. All right, and I'm just gonna place that on my lid all over where I placed that primer. All right, so I definitely changed my mind. We're gonna go all the way over, so I have to put more primer on. Um, we're gonna go all the way over, and I think I'm gonna like actually smoke this blue out because it's just so pretty. Like, it just needs to be the star of the show. Oh, <laughs> it's so. Oh my God, okay, I'm in love. Manny, Lunar Beauty, if you're listening, if you could just put Deep Sea like in a single palette, because I know I'm not gonna go through this whole palette. Just put it in a single palette, just single pan, and I will buy it. So I'm gonna go in with Lagoon, but just very, like very little on that brush. And just brush along the edges where I laid Deep Sea down to blow it out into my crease. Oh 
my gosh, guys, I am living. That looks so good. And just to kind of soften that, I'm just going in with the one that already has that brown color on it and just lightly going over the blue. So it just softens the whole look. All right, guys, so I have completed the top look. The shadow is beautiful. So I'm gonna go off camera real quick and I am just going to put on my face makeup and then I will be right back. Well, hello, welcome back, welcome back. I have returned two seconds later for you guys. A long time for me, don't worry about it. All right, so I did go ahead um, and I put on my lashes and my lipstick. So when I was off camera doing my base and my lipstick, I did use Zaya on the lips. This is the liquid lipstick from the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess Collection, I believe. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. So it's this one. That was the reason I didn't get the new liquid lipstick because it is also Zaya, which I still have. And then the lip gloss is a little too light for my shade. But I, for the blush, I also used the Moon Prism Blush Palette. So I used like the peachy color that he has. I don't know what it's called and I don't have it on hand right now. So we're gonna move on to the under eye. And I think I'm going to be going in with Summer Sky right here. I was thinking about doing, about doing the blue underneath. Hear, hear me out. Um, I fear doing blue under my eye because I feel like whenever I try to do like a blue shade, it always winds up making me look like I have a black eye and I just did not want that. Halfway with the brown, a little more than halfway I lied. I think I'm gonna go in with that silver color and get that in there. So I did try to go in with the silver shade right here. It's just too warm tone with everything going on for me to add such a cool tone silver. So I'm gonna go in with flare. Mm -mm. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out and then we will go over my final thoughts on the palette. All right, guys, so here's the thing. I love this palette, <laughs> just kidding. I love this palette, Lunar Beauty, Manny. You guys did such an amazing job. They always do such an amazing job, but like legitimately, I'm obsessed with this palette, okay? And if you guys wanna see me use more of these cool tone, blue, super dark, like grayish shades, let me know down below and I will get a video up for you doing like a part two, like a first impression look part two. Um, but when I tell you, and I tell you, first of all, they blend like butter, okay? Like I put this look on with ease. Second, the shinies are shiny, the mattes are matte. There was a little fallout, but that does not bother me. I know that it does bother some people, so if that bothers you, you may want to think, no, I'm just kidding, get this palette. Like the, the amount of fallout just isn't enough to hate this palette. Lunar Beauty, if you're listening. Like 100%, this is for you. This deep sea color right here, if you could get this color like in a pan, like the size of my head, I would love it. I will use this color until the day that I die. I will be 110 years old putting this blue on my eye. It's so, pr the camera does not give it justice. I might have to zoom in for a second, hold on. It's just so stunning. Like even up, I'm just looking at myself like, Yes. I think that you can tell that Manny and his team put a lot of work into the packaging and that's always amazing. That's always a plus, but I'm telling you, <laughs> hands down, hands down, I'm saying it now because 2020 is almost over, so it doesn't matter because there's no one else that's gonna bring another palette out like this. I think that this is my favorite palette of the year and I have bought uh, many palettes this year. I wanna try to do a lot of the color combos and see what I can create. I do absolutely think that this palette is stunning. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed my review on the new Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Holiday Collection. If you have this palette, please comment below and tell me I'm not crazy and you love this palette. Like I need to know that I'm just not crazy and that other people love this palette. I just need to know. Are you gonna get this palette? What palette are you hoping to get before the end of the year? And if you're not planning on buying anymore, what was your favorite palette that you bought throughout the year? I need to know these things. Keep me in the loop, guys. All right, just making sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.